guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Davina Cosmetics. Um, unfortunately, there will be no glitter, no shimmer, no metallics, none of that. If you're interested in hearing a little bit more about Davina Cosmetics and their matte formula, then just keep watching. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So thanks for clicking on the video, giving me some of your time today. Today we're talking about Davina Cosmetics and you guys, I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset because nobody told me that these mattes with this formula existed. I was shopping for Black Friday and when I saw this bundle set, which is the Coven's Curse, I looked at it, I looked at it again, I looked at it again and I was like, nah, there's no glitter, there's no shimmer, like come on, you know? And then the more that I thought about it, like I just could not get the blue and the magenta out of my mind. Like I had to have them. Then what happened is as I was getting my cart and my wish list ready, I go to Deandra, who's the founder of Davina Cosmetics, and I said, hey, I'm excited about your brand. I wanna try some stuff. Like if it was up to you, which of your formulas would you recommend? And her answer shocked me. She told me that the formula that she was most proud of and that she would definitely recommend would be her matte formula. And so that was just like a little, like it just kind of threw me off because you know, indie brands are known for like, again, like their duochrome, shimmers, metallics, glitters, all of that. Like that's kind of what the indie brand space is known for. So when she said that, it kind of caught my eye and I was like, hmm. Maybe I should, maybe I should. So I started looking into it. We're gonna talk about this bundle. We're gonna talk about the formula. We're gonna do three looks. And yeah, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. I mean, it's worth sharing. I didn't find any other video on YouTube on this bundle. So I hope that this video is helpful. During the video, if you like what you see, give me a like. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't already done so. We just got done with like a really beautiful 1,000 subscriber luxury giveaway. I'm really excited for the winner and I hope that they'll enjoy their goodies, but we're actually right around the corner from 2,000 subscribers. My love language is gift giving. And so did you really think that we're gonna get to 2,000 subscribers without another giveaway? I think not. So if you like makeup, if you like to be a part of a uplifting, positive community where we just talk about makeup, uh, we have fun with makeup, luxury, indie, and a little bit of drugstore, then definitely consider subscribing. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's where all the fun's at. That's where we can tag each other and talk about makeup and launches and all that stuff. So definitely go check me out there. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do one look on each eye, and then I'll just wrap it up with a third and final look. Again, more than anything, I think because I couldn't find any inspo on YouTube, I wanted to be able to create that for you guys and just kind of show you what looks you can create with this bundle set. At first glance, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's all matte. So we're definitely gonna try to stick to all matte, but you know how I love my glitters and my shimmers. Like, I don't know. I'm not committing to anything just yet. We might have to bring in the Baby Cakes collection to just sparkle it up a little bit, but Maybe not, we'll see. So we'll just play, that's what we're doing here. Creating some look inspos because I, you know, haven't found anything else. So if you're wondering about this bundle set, you know, the colors are beautiful. So it, right away, it does draw your attention to them. Let me just play with them a little bit, show you what we can do. These are the shades here. So I'm gonna start here and then we'll just swatch this way. Okay, so they do swatch lovely. They are a little powdery. There's not like a crazy amount of kick up, but I mean, it's not like color pop or anything, but they are, there is kick up. The one that I would say is the most kick up that I saw when swatching is the black one, which makes sense. It's a really pigmented black, a matte black. You can see there, Let's see if we can, yeah, you can see there. Um, but that's not, you know, nothing that bothers me. Even the swatches, they look super, super smooth on my skin. And we'll see how much kick up we have because I don't know these matte shadows yet. I decided to just do my base after I do my eye looks, so that's what we'll do. I prime my lids with my NARS Budge Proof Eye Primer. You guys know that I love that. I think I have an idea of some eye looks that I wanna put together, but let's just go ahead and play. I think what I'll do at this point is I'll just kinda turn on some music, just work a little bit, show you the shades that I'm using. We'll create a look, we'll talk about it, and then we'll do the third final look after these two, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. No Ni seré el último, pero sé que lo gozaré. 
Pa' serte sincero, un Dios es el que te enseñó Lo que puedes hacer con mi piel Yeah, 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 yeah Baby, si se nos da, yeah, yeah Será lo que será, yeah, yeah Los dos vamos a matar, yeah, yeah Okay, so this is look number one. I know, guys, I know it looks crazy, especially with this deep maroon here and the tear duct. I think I can make it work with lashes and with everything else. So just stay with me, stay with me. Let's go ahead and work on look number two. I'm gonna tell you right now, this color, I already knew. I already knew I was gonna love it. Let's work on look number two. <laughs> Digamos el pecado que hay cosas que no se dicen Que la piel tú y yo juntando, baby, ¿para qué te dices? Y tú solo dices que quieres más Que matemos la curiosidad, eso hacemos Baby, si se nos da, ella, será lo que será, ella Los dos vamos a matar, ella, toda esa curiosidad Baby, si se nos da, ella, será lo que será All right, guys, so this is what we have going on so far. I know it looks crazy. I know it does. I'm gonna finish it up with everything so that you guys can get a total picture of what it would look like. And we'll kind of do this because this looked crazy in the inner corner. It's really not, guys. These mats, I'm starting to pick up on what Davina was saying. Like, these mats are incredible. Let me finish these looks and my face, and I'll be right back. And here we go. Guys, I'm telling you, like, I, you know, took a little chance with that inner corner highlight there being so bold and, you know, darker than what we expect an inner corner highlight to be. But my goodness, I, this is my favorite look. But then I can't decide because that maroon, that magenta is everything. Let me, let me pull you guys out a little bit so you can appreciate it a little more. Okay, to say I'm excited is such an understatement, you guys. They were, listen, the black is a little powdery, but even though the black is powdery, I didn't get any fallout or anything crazy like that. I didn't know the shadows, which is why I chose to do my base later, but my goodness, you guys, this is divine. I am so freaking excited because like, I don't, I, I don't have colors like this, and I, I mean, I don't. In my entire collection, I don't have colors like this, especially this blue here, and this magenta, like, pop, like, I am so excited. They perform so well. They look so silky on my eyes, like I'm looking up close. They look super silky, guys. I just want you guys to, if you can't tell because of the camera, to really hear that from me, like, they look so freaking smooth. Let's go ahead and do this situation here so that you guys can appreciate it. I mean, it's gorgeous. And then we have this side here, like, come on. So beautiful. Obviously, like with her having all matte bundles, like she's pretty confident about her matte formula. So like that says something, but like, you know, she did tell me like, I said, hey, if you had to choose one formula that you think is really good, that you think would impress people, like what would it be? And with indie makeup brands being mostly known for their multi-chromes, their shimmers, their glitters, you know, to, for, for her to say it's the mattes, like, you know, I don't know, but I'm so impressed. I'm kind of thrown off because this eye looks so, it looks shaped so differently than this one just because of the way that we opened it up. But oh, you guys, I can't, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. So I'm gonna jump off of camera. I'm gonna take a couple pictures. I'll come back to do a final look. I think I know what I wanna do. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. We're gonna work on the third look, the final look. I think I'm gonna probably talk through this. If it doesn't turn out well, I'll just put some music on it, but let's go ahead and get started. Ah, uh, 
I cannot. I cannot contain my excitement, guys. I cannot. Okay, we're gonna start here with this color here. I'm gonna take this blendy, fluffy brush, BK201. I'm so excited. I'm filming, but I'm getting ready for my live tonight with Britt Clark. If you guys haven't seen that, I will pop it up here. Basically, we're gonna be talking shit. <laughs> Uh, you know, luxury products not worth the hype. Yes, there are some. As much as I gush and like, you know, love all this luxury makeup, there's some that's just not worth the hype, honey. It is what it is. Okay, now we're gonna go into this baby blue goodness right here. You guys, that has to, I have two favorites in this palette that has to be one of them. And it was also like the one that drew me to this bundle set. It is just so beautiful. So smooth, so pigmented. Love it. I love it. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm just, I'm just a little mad. I'm mad at the world. I'm mad at Davina. I'm mad at everyone that did not tell me how good these mats were. Well, I mean, Deandra did tell me, but you know, I only just learned of them a little bit ago. All right, so I'm not mad at anybody, but like moving forward, we cannot let this foolishness continue. Okay, everybody needs to know how good these Davina mats really are. Oh my God, you guys, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go with my second favorite shade, which again, first favorite shade, second favorite shade. It is just the most beautiful thing I've ever laid my eyes on. I'm gonna take just a tiny little brush and I'm gonna start doing some detail work. I'm just gonna pat it in, pat it in, pat it in. The reason that I'm patting in, by the way, guys, because um, I do wanna tell you that there was a little bit of fallout in the pan, but not on my face when I did the first two looks. I'm actually patting in because my eyes are so delicate recently. Like, they're just really chapped and dry, so I don't wanna be like dragging stuff across my eye right now. Um, but when I did the first two looks, I did not experience any fallout on my face. Um, so yeah, I just want to bring that up. Perfection. Perfection. All right. I'm going to take my Sonia G Mini Booster, go a little bit in the pan, but then start blending, blending, blending to br just blow this out a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. You guys, that is just so gorgeous. It's like... Nothing I would have ever thought to do, but it's just beautiful. Taking my fluffy brush again and going back into this gray to kind of just blow out the top a little bit as well. Like how beautiful these colors go together, but yet, you know, this is why I stayed away from singles for so long, I think, because I'm just not inspired that way. I'm not artistic that way. Like I don't have vision when it comes to color stories and stuff. And maybe that's because I haven't really been paying attention to eyeshadows for very long. You know, I only really got into eyeshadows and makeup makeup like a couple years ago to where I really started paying attention. But with these bundles being curated for us, I just feel like it takes the guesswork out of colors to use together. And it, you know, once I see the bundle together, I can kind of figure out where I want to place what. You know, it's just a beautiful way to do that without having to pay for the price of like a palette or whatnot. All right, so that's what we got going on there. I'm gonna pull a white. I'm gonna pull a white shadow for the inner corner highlight. So let's just wait on that. Oh my gosh, you guys, did you guys buy anything from the Cleona sale? That's literally in like one hour. I'm like freaking out. Okay, I think I've got it where I want it. Okay, for the inner corner, I feel like it really needs like a matte white. And so what I'm gonna use is from the Recently Deceased palette, I'm gonna use this white. I am so, so obsessed with those palettes as well. But this matte white is one of my favorite shades actually, which is really weird, because it's just a white, but it's so pigmented, it's so beautiful. I'll have to check Davina's site to see if she has a matte white. If she does, just based on the performance of these shadows and coven skirts, I need, I need, I need. So I'll definitely be looking. But honestly, I need more I need more Davina mats. It just is what it is. It has to happen. Look how pretty that white is. Okay. All right. I think what I'm gonna do is light blue like all on the lower lash line, and maybe I'll do like a little bit of black at the end. Let's see how that looks. I can't with this blue, you guys. It's so beautiful. I cannot with this blue. Everybody needs this in their life. I'm just saying, everybody needs this in their life. 
I'm gonna take the same fluffy brush and go into the matte black. I don't want anything too pronounced and it is very pigmented. So I'm just gonna, just there on the corner and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring a little bit in to kind of, not to change the color of that maroon, but just deepen it a little bit. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Woo! Jess! I love it, I love it! Sorry guys, I'm trying to contain my excitement here, but I am totally feeling it. Oh my God, you guys, what is this witchery? What did we discover? <gasps> we discovered Coven's Curse. All right, I'm gonna go in with the same uh, liner in the waterline. I just really loved how it pulled everything together on the first two looks. And I didn't say this the first time, but this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Eye Pencil. This is in the shade Alkaline. It's just like a really beautiful, honestly, it looks like one of the maroons in the palette. It's just a really beautiful eyeliner. It's really great quality. It doesn't budge from the waterline. Why did she make these shadows and not tell me? Like, I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. I'm just, I'm not gonna lie. But at least we know now, you know what I'm saying? All right, here's the final look. I can't, I can't. Let me bring you in closer so you can see like what this witchery really is. All right, guys, so here is the final look. I just can't. I, I cannot. Like, I'm so upset that I didn't know that these existed sooner. Literally, like, I love Davina when we swatched the Candy Cakes collection. I did. Very impressed. Very, very happy with the product. All those things. The fact that I tried this so close to the end of the year is gonna upset some people when they see the best in beauty from me coming hopefully next week because you know that unexpected home run that they steal all the bases and then they slide into home like nobody's watching? You guys, I cannot. I think you guys by now have seen my excitement. These are first impressions. These are real reactions. I was not asked to do this. I love Deandra, I love Davina Cosmetics, I think they're a great brand, I love the people behind the brand, but no one, absolutely no one can argue with the quality that we saw today. I am beyond thrilled, you guys, like, I'm sort of still riding the Melt Cosmetics train and just like being in love with those two new releases from them, from the Beetlejuice collection, and I just thought like, man, that's kind of unfair to everybody else if I try any other palettes or eyeshadows, cause like, they're so, so good. I'm sorry, Mel, step to the side, honey. Yes, you're good, but guess what? Somebody just tied you for first. You guys, they're so smooth. I'm like looking at them because, you know, I always look for that. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I had like a little bit of dry patches going on with this eye specifically. So I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna be that hard on, on the shadows. Like my eyes are not in the best condition right now, but to tell you that they look absolutely flawless, you guys. They look flawless. Let me just close up here. They are so, so smooth. Um, I would say that they're not like a Natasha Denona buttery. They're just smooth, like perfection, like so smooth. Like the only other palette that I tried this year that gave me the same feel, like the same just smoothness and flawless airbrush look to the eyes was Guerlain and I was so impressed with their formula as well which was also an unpopular opinion. Here with Davina I think that we can all agree that there's been a lot of hype surrounding this brand as of late and maybe I'm late to the game I mean I think they've been a thing for a while but it, there's a reason why it's just so so good um deandra did you know when i asked her i said which formula would you go to she said the matte is the formula that i'm most proud of and i'm like my goodness because that's almost kind of like not what she's known for she's kind of known for the multi crumbs and the glitters and all that i i i have to have to just make sure you understand the next time that you're on divinacosmetics.com the mattes is absolutely something that you have to experience for yourself they are so so 
good. I absolutely am in love with the looks that I created. I honestly, like these two colors are my favorite in the palette, but just everything was so uh, pigmented. It blended out beautifully. Um, although they were powdery in the pan, mostly the black one, I did not experience fallout on my face. So, you know, all of that is stuff that you saw me go through in this video. So I can't tell you again. I absolutely love it. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. And I'm so excited that I finally tried this palette for you guys. Tell me what you think. Have you tried Davina Cosmetics? Um, you know, I know that when we think about indie brands, we think about shimmers and multi-crumbs and everything else. So, it, you know, mattes, is it something you want to try? I can tell you that this little bundle set, Coven's Curse, is absolute perfection. I think the color story is so beautiful. The colors are unique, um, especially for my collection. Um, and I'm just really, really excited. I am literally going straight to Davina's site and ordering another matte bundle. That's how much I think of her matte formula. Davina Cosmetics, well, well done. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give me a like. Make sure and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're so excited. You know, we're actually right around the corner from about 2,000 subscribers. Although we had an epic 1,000 subscriber giveaway, don't, don't you worry about a thing, honey. Don't you worry about a thing because I'm going to take care of you for the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. So definitely consider subscribing. Join our community. We'd love to have you here. Go and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's where we have a lot of fun and we get to tag each other on like these, you know, cosmetic Instagram pages and talk about the new releases and all of that. So definitely go do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm a happy girl. I'm a happy girl. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yes. Oh my God. These shadows were made for me. I see it right there. Oh my God, son. Do you love my eye look?